Hey guys, this is Bert with InformalGadget.com and today Tiny Umbrella has been updated. If you don't know what Tiny Umbrella is, it's basically a tool that people use with their jailbroken Apple devices. So if you have a iPhone, iPad, iPod, and it's always a good idea to use this tool that's available for Mac or for Windows. It's a free tool and what it does is it basically saves your SHSHs and it would allow you or it would help you downgrade your firmware if you accidentally update it and you want to jailbreak uh, your Apple device this will allow you to downgrade so that you could jailbreak, jailbreak your Apple device well with Tiny Umbrella's latest update they've updated the software so that it could save something called BB tickets so if you see right here save your BB tickets you could actually save the the SH SHs and these BB tickets we're not really sure what the BB tickets are yet but there's an idea that it has to do something with the baseband so that you could unlock your iPhones to be used on different uh, carriers so it's a good idea to save these right now so that if there is a some, uh, some kind of hack later on down the line you'll have these BB tickets saved on your computer so the way you do that is you go to Tiny Umbrella's website I'll provide the link down below and you download whether it's for your Mac or Windows computer once you download it and install it you just go to Tiny Umbrella open it up once you open it open tiny umbrella up make sure you're on version 5.10.14 or later so if uh, there's if you're under 5.10.14 make sure to go to that website and download the latest uh, tiny umbrella software the first thing you want to do is go to advanced and make sure that you have overwrite existing SHA SHSH files on save SHSH checked so that's the one two three four the fifth one down make sure make sure it's checked and make sure that request SHSH from Cydia is unchecked once you do that on the left hand side here I'll show all the devices you have saved already and what what devices you have connected I currently have connected the iPad 3 so that's what I'm going to save is the SHSHs for the iPad 3. Once you have it connected, you could go ahead and click on it. And under general, it'll tell you what's already been saved. So I've already connected it and I've already saved the SHSHs for uh, version 5.1. But we could always do it again. So connect your, your Apple device and then you could hit save SHSH. Once you hit it, you could also go to the log and it'll tell you at what date and time it was uh, saved so you'll see right here where it says 5.1 was successfully saved now if I go here to let's say the iPhone and I'm under log and I hit save it'll bring a whole list of what's been saved and what hasn't if you see here it's saying uh, Apple's not signing iPhone version uh, 4.3.1 that's because I, I didn't save my SHSH on time so if you have a device and uh, iTunes or Apple decides to release another version, you have to make sure to come and save it before Apple decides to stop signing it out. They give like a two-week window period where they, they'll, they'll send out the new version of the update and then they will stop, stop giving it out. Uh, like in a two week window period so make sure you're always on top on saving your SHSHs also another good thing once you have it saved on here for the first time your SHSHs you won't have to use your or connect your your Apple device you could just open up tiny umbrella click on any of the devices that's already on the log and you could just hit save SHSH without having to have your Apple device connected and it'll save it this with the new version from 5.10.14 and above now will save those BB, BB tickets and it, again it has something to do with your baseband 
So I would highly recommend saving your base bands and saving the the tiny the S H S H's from Tiny Umbrella, and just have this so that in the future maybe we might have some kind of uh, update or hack where we could actually unlock our devices. So if this little tip helped you out, give me a thumbs up down below. Leave any comments, any concerns, any questions. I try to answer my comments and questions as fast as possible. And don't forget to visit informalgadget.com.